In our previous tutorial, we demonstrated the process of creating custom fields and associating them with custom post types. And in this tutorial, we will explore how to create a custom taxonomy and the steps to link it with custom post types. In this tutorial, we will be setting up two custom taxonomies, one for meal types and another for cuisine types. Taxonomies are a way to categorize posts together. In this tutorial, we will start by making a custom taxonomy called meal type, with categories like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and desserts. Each recipe on the site can be linked to one or more meal types, enabling users to explore recipes based on their desired meal category. To set up a taxonomy, go to ACPT and click Taxonomies. You will see a collection of default registered taxonomies like post categories and tags. However, in this tutorial, we will create our custom taxonomy. To register a custom taxonomy, navigate to top right corner and click on Register New Taxonomy. Fill in the required fields to configure the basic settings. Provide the taxonomy slug, singular label, and plural label, and click on Next Step to proceed. Within the Additional Label tab, you have the option to modify the labels to your preference or keep them as they are. Click on Next Step to proceed. In the Settings tab, you can keep the default settings, but in this tutorial, we will activate the hierarchical option and the Show Admin column. Enabling the Show Admin column option will allow us to display our taxonomy in the Post Type Admin column, and I will show you where this feature appears later. After saving, you will notice that our newly created taxonomy is now displayed in the list as a custom type, indicating that it is a custom taxonomy. To link and associate your newly created custom taxonomy with a post type, select Associate. This will display a list of pages and posts available for association. You have the option to choose multiple post types or pages. However, for this tutorial, we will link it with our custom post type named Recipes. Wait for the page to refresh automatically. Now that we have linked our custom taxonomy to our post type, let's go to our custom post type to view it. You will notice that our custom taxonomy has been successfully created and includes the standard WordPress category fields. We can currently only store the term name, term slug, and term description. However, we must include additional fields to store other information beyond these. Therefore, we need to add an image field to meet the design's requirement of having an image for each category. To include a custom field in our taxonomy, we must first create a field group and associate it with our taxonomy. To do this, go to ACPT and select Field Groups. To create a new field group, click on Create New Meta Group. Give your field groups a name. Since we want to assign our custom field to a custom taxonomy, we set the location to taxonomy is equal to meal types, which is the custom taxonomy we created earlier. Click on the Add Meta Box button and provide a label for your Meta Box. To include fields in your Meta Box, click Add Field Box. Label the field as Meal Type Image and choose the field type as Image. After clicking Save, you will see the field group's overview, displaying the newly created field, field count, and location. By inspecting the location, you can see that the field is linked to our custom taxonomy. To ensure that our custom field is rendering and displaying correctly, Let's navigate to our custom post and select Meal Types. You will notice that the field is being rendered as intended. That's how you create a custom field and assign it to a custom taxonomy. In this section, we will create a second custom taxonomy known as Cuisine Type. This will be done in the same way as previously. Now that we have set up our custom taxonomies,
The next step is to create categories. Then we will populate and create our recipes. To include categories, go to our custom post type and select meal type. Then proceed to complete the necessary fields with the appropriate information. We will add breakfast, lunch, dinner, and desserts categories. Now that we have finished adding the meal type, we will proceed to add the cuisine type. That's how to create a custom taxonomy and assign it to a custom post. In the next tutorial, we will add recipes and show the data in our homepage.